All right, it's nice and cold out. We went from summer weather where it was really hot to fall weather, almost winter. And the water has dropped 10 to 20 degrees. So it's time for me to try some shallow water catfishing. See if I can pull some blues out of this waterway here, which is two to four feet of water. I've caught some pretty good fish here before, so hopefully I'll catch some tonight. And I'm doing this before they lower the lake. Once they lower the lake level, I won't be able to fish back here. And what I'm using today is gizzard shad. This gizzard shad is actually from Big Fish Outfitters. They sell live gizzard shad for you to use for stripers or catfish or whatever you want to use them for. These were actually given to me by Milton Hill Bill. He's a big time striper guide around here and he bought a bunch of them to take on a few guided fishing trips. He's able to keep them alive in his live well for several days, maybe even up to a week if he needs to. But at some point you do have to get fresh bait so I get his leftovers every now and then. So let's see if I can catch something on gizzard chat tonight. In shallow water. Put a nice head out first. I definitely can't see anything out there. And the rest of these are going to be chunk pieces. So let's do a fast forward segment. All right, let's see if I can catch something tonight. While fooling around with my camera, I got fish on, I think. Yep. I think I got a fish. Something small, maybe. Probably wrapped up with my other lines. <laughs> The moon just came up over the hill too. It's like a few days after a full moon. I figured I wouldn't catch anything tonight. Here we are. Fish bringing in my other line. Whoa. I think he's got several lines wrapped up. This one, this one, not that one. <laughs> Took me a while to get this guy. I think it's worth getting wrapped up just to catch something. He's not, whoa! Oh man, come here. Whoo, he is hyper. I'm wrapping up my line. Right. Now I gotta get this mess untangled here. There we go. Shallow water blue. So I can catch them in shallow water. Even though it's taken 
a little bit longer than I'd like it to. I've probably been here 45 minutes to an hour. I figured I'd give it a little bit extra time because I really, really, really wanted to catch a fish in shallow water. I'm guessing that they're just not in here thick yet. Or I needed to be here before the sun went down. There could be many factors, but hey, nice fish. see the steam coming off of them all right I'm gonna let this guy go it's a nice one let him grow up maybe he'll become a hundred pounder someday Boosh. now to get all these lines untangled Get the sinker slide off first. Might make things easier. But I'm wrapped up 20 ways to Christmas here. There we go. That fish hit right as the moon came up above the hill. Eh, looks good. Put it right back out there. I was moving around a little bit, so I put my shallow water anchor in to hold the boat in place. I could have lowered my motor. The bottom of the motor was actually rubbing on the ground. That's how shallow it is right here. I wish I could have got that takedown on video. That was a pretty good takedown. I was just messing with my camera trying to get a better angle out of it. Right as that fish hit. All right, I'm gonna give it maybe another hour. Normally I move every 30 to 45 minutes, but I'm staying here longer tonight because this is kind of a hard spot to get to. So I might as well give it a few hours and see if I can catch a couple of fish. Usually I don't get skunked at this spot. And as you saw, I just caught a fish, so I didn't get skunked. Oh. Must be a little guy playing with it. This is actually the second time he's hit this one. First time was off camera. Get a lot of little ones around here too. Maybe it's mama will show up. be really little maybe not <laughs> maybe I do it's gotta be a real tiny fish oh dang. nope thought I got lucky there I guess I'm going to refresh this one. Put a different head on. I swear it felt like something was fighting back on that for a little bit. 
maybe it was a really really tiny catfish and it got off before I got it to the boat maybe I do what I've done in the winter time get a really small piece and see if I can catch the little ones that are playing around up there I've come to this area before with really big bait and just get all kinds of like you know pecking on my rods then I downsize to something that size and start catching fish even though they're little fish they're still fun to catch Life isn't always about the monster catfish, but when you have good bait in the water, you always have a chance of catching one. We'll just have to see if I can catch another one tonight. Here we go again. Oh, did he let go? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I missed it. I guess I refreshed this bait. I actually refreshed number two off camera. And I haven't touched those three yet at all. I'll put a gut pocket piece out that way. If it stays on after that cast. I am casting these as far as I can because there is kind of a creek channel over there, but it's not much of anything. It's like four feet deep, maybe. It might be a good idea to refresh these too. I know I've been asked in the past how long I wait to refresh baits. Usually it's between when I'm moving from spot to spot, but since I'm spending a lot of time here, you know, doing an hour or after, you know, a bite like that, totally random. Eat it this time? Gotta be a baby. I need to bring my bullhead rods here next time. The ones with one aught Team Catfish Double Action Circle hooks on them. Because the eight aught seems to be too big for whatever is out there. Did he finally hook himself? Looks like it's swimming. Maybe it is. I don't know what's going on here. Huh. I do have a fish on. <laughs> Finally caught the dinker that has been hitting on my rods all night. <laughs> well, this is a channel cat. You little rascal. Little low channel cat. <laughs> See if I can get you guys a good look at this guy. It's hard to tell where the lights are shining on this. 
I probably should get a little fill light for the camera. But yeah, I caught the bait stealer tonight. <laughs> you have been busy tonight. All right, I'm going to let him go. <laughs> Got to keep my bait. I guess I will uh, refresh it anyway. Now, if a flathead would drop by, I'd have a slam tonight. Whoops! A little bit of bird nest. That was really cool. Oh, oh, hello. All right. He's pulling a little bit of drag. Oh, no. Oh, he got off. What in the world happened here? Don't know. The hook is sharp. My best guess is he had a hold of the bait, maybe? Gizzard shad skin is really, really tough. That was a good fish. It has taken a long while between bites here. And I was just about to leave. I guess I put another piece of bait on here and give it 30 more minutes. I'm quite sure that fish is spooked, which means it won't bite again. I'm thinking maybe the mistake I made there was not reeling down on the fish. The hook didn't get a chance to set on it. This is real shallow water and I'm dealing with circle hooks. The fish are still not in here too thick. Maybe I'm here a little bit too early. I want to know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Am I here too early? Should I have waited a couple more weeks before coming to this shallow water? Maybe I should have been here when the sun was up, when it was warming the water back here. The water temp right now is 67.8 degrees, so it's gone down from 71 degrees earlier. Hey Google. What is the current temperature? The current temperature in Kingston is 52 degrees. Wow, it's 52 degrees right now. I do see a lot of fog coming off the water, which means I probably should leave soon before it gets too foggy out here. Like I said, because of that fish, I'm going to give it 30 more minutes here before I take off. It has been slow. At least the little bitty fish have been keeping me busy. Come on, you can take it. Come on, you can do it. Wonder if he's hooked. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think there's a snag or something going on out there too. On that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. I've been here quite a few hours already and getting all kinds of, you know, little bitty ones hitting all the rods. Caught one okay blue, caught the bait stealer, and lost a good fish. It happens. I'm sure this spot will pick up sometime in the future. 
I'm going to get these reeled up and very carefully head back to the ramp. I got a little bit of shallow water that I got to navigate out of here and there might be a little bit of fog on the main river. I do want to thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. I will say this, maybe I should have went to the area that Catfish Dave calls the Magic Kingdom. I know several people tonight have caught some big fish there, and I've caught big fish there in the past. I just didn't want to go where everybody else goes, and it is kind of a long drive for me. But I do like it down there, so I might try it one of these days. So stay tuned, and thank you again for watching.